Hello everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So today, I will be sharing 26 Windows Run command that will be boosting your computer productivity on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So in order to bring up the run command, either you can use the shortcut key that is by pressing the Windows and the R key from the keyboard and it will bring up the run box over here. Or either you can right click on the Windows icon and click on run. Both are very simple method. Okay, and now we are ready for all the run command and the very first one is a very simple command that will be helping you to open any kind of drive on your computer. So let's say if you want to open C drive, D drive or E drive or any other. So instead of opening up the file explorer, then going to that particular drive, what you can do, bring up the run box here, type here C. If you want to open the C drive, then type colon and hit the enter key. This will directly take you to the root location of the C drive. And similarly, like the C drive, if you want to open the D drive, type D and add colon, just hit the enter key. This will bring up the D drive on your computer. So very easy and simple to navigate to your computer drives. Now with the next command, you can quickly bring up the calculator on your computer. And you don't have to type the full name, just type C-A-L-C and hit the enter key. And this will quickly bring up the calculator on your computer. Now with the next command, you can quickly bring up the remote desktop connection. So just type MSTSC and hit the enter key. Bingo. So now you can see it will quickly bring up the remote desktop connection where you can enter the computer name and you can quickly connect to that computer whom you want to connect remotely. Next command is PSR. Very simple command. And once you hit the OK or the enter key, you will find that it will bring up the step recorder. And a step recorder is basically another amazing feature of Windows 11 that will be helping you to record each and everything that you do on the computer. This is basically used when you want to send someone that what kind of problem you have. You can basically record all the setting and send to them. I believe that most of you know about it. But if you don't know, then let me know in the comment section. All right. Now, next command is task MGR. And I'm very sure you know that what exactly this is for. So once I click on OK, yes, it will bring up the task manager. And so far, I'm pretty sure you know two or three methods to bring up the task manager. But this one, you learned a new one that will be helping you to open the task manager. All right. So now our next run command is a very powerful tool. So just type a simple command that will be MRT and click on OK or hit the enter key. And it will bring up the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool. A very powerful tool to remove all kind of viruses and malware from your device. So if you also have opened like me, then do not forget to run it at least. So click on next and it gives you three different options. Quick scan, full scan, customized. Uh, if you want to do it quickly, then you can go with the first option. Click on next. Now it will be looking for any kind of malware viruses on your computer and it will let you know and even you can delete it using this method. Next is desk.cpl and if you type this run command and hit the enter key, it will directly take you to the display setting of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 where you can manage the light night, the color profile, the scale, the resolution, the multiple display. Uh, you can even manage the graphics, many more display settings that you can manage from this single command. So very useful and in order to quickly manage all these settings, you should know this run command. Next one is to bring up the registry editor. So just type R-E-G-E-D-I-T and hit the enter key again. If asked for the permission, click on yes. And this will bring up the registry editor on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. And so like registry editor, if you type services.msc and hit the enter key. So this will bring up all your Windows 11 or Windows 10 services. And from here only, you can manage them. You can either disable the unwanted services for which I have already created many videos. So another amazing command to quickly bring up the services on your computer. Next one is log off. So if you type log then off and hit the enter key. This will quickly log out your computer without any kind of confirmation. So while working on your computer in the office, in college, wherever, if you quickly want to log out of your device or your account, then you can use this simple command. And so like log off, if you type shut down, give a space, then type forward slash s and click on OK. This will be initiating the shutdown process where you can click on close and the computer will be shutting down. 
and here if you replace the s with the r and then click on ok this will be shutting down your computer within a minute so another amazing process to shut down your computer and i recommend that you should also know about this method and now with the next command you can bring up the performance monitor on your computer with one simple run command so type here perfmon.msc and just hit the enter key this will quickly bring up the performance monitor this is another useful and a very amazing tool of windows 11 that will be helping you in tons of ways to find out that what exactly is going on what kind of activity is going on what is the total utilization data collector set many options are being given here next is dccw and if you hit the enter key after typing this command this will bring up the display color calibration amazing tool and it says welcome to display color calibration and if you click on next and you can read here to get started and set basic color setting for your display press the menu button for your display the menu button usually located in front of your monitor all right so this is the tool to help you to manage the color setting of your windows monitor all right i'm not going in the depth but if you need a detailed video about this let me know in the comment section now with the next command we can basically clean all the junk file from the computer and that is clean mgr and hit the enter key so this will bring up this disk cleanup option here where you can select the file that you want to delete like all kind of cache all kind of temporary file you can delete directly from here if you also want to delete the recycle bin empty it you can also select it select all the other option and click on ok then it will ask you the permission so click on delete files and the process of cleaning the drive from all kind of garbages will be started so once you know this command you can quickly run it and get rid of all the temporary files and junk from your computer next command is resmon and once you hit the enter key this will bring up the resource monitor previously we opened the performance monitor and this will bring up the resource monitor that will be helping you to know that what kind of resources are being occupied by what kind of application either it's for the cpu for the memory for the disk or even for the network very useful command in order to do any kind of troubleshooting that what exactly is consuming your bandwidth or what exactly is consuming your cpu or memory next is ncpa.cpl and if you click on ok this will quickly bring up the network connection displaying all kind of available network adapter on your computer so many time you have to do any kind of troubleshooting you have to make any kind of changes like if you have to change the dns address or if you want to change your ip then you have to come to this location you need to make a right click on it go to properties internet protocol version 4 and from here you can change the dns address or the static ip even there are many more settings that you can apply like disabling the power management or making changes with the network adapter so this command also you should know because it helps you many times to quickly bring up the network connection adapter and now with the next command you can open up add or remove program from where you can directly uninstall any kind of application so type appwiz.cpl and click on ok this will bring up the program and feature listing all kind of application installed on a computer it only display the third party application that you have installed and doesn't display any kind of bloatware not only this from the left hand side you can click on turn windows feature on or off and from here you can turn any windows feature on or off like hyper-v virtual machine platform and many other okay so the next command is firewall.cpl and if you want to bring up the firewall on your computer type this command hit the enter key and this will bring up the windows defender firewall quickly on your computer from where you can manage the firewall like you can enable it you can disable it you can set any kind of policies exceptions whatever you want to do now with the next command you can manage your disk on your computer so type disk mgmt.msc and this will bring up the disk management and i'm very sure that all of you know about this disk management so here you can do tons of things like you can shrink the volume you can create the partition you can delete the partition you can convert any kind of unallocated space to a simple volume and many other things that you can do and so like the disk management if you want to open the device manager type dev mgmt dot msc so basically it stands for dev stands for device mgmt stands for 
a management so type dvmgmt.msc click on ok and this will bring up the device manager on your computer from where you can manage all kind of your devices drivers you can uninstall them you can update them or you can view them whether it's working properly or not next we have control so if you type control in the run box and hit the enter key so this will directly take you to the control panel of your windows 10 or windows 11. then we have osk very useful command just type osk and hit the enter key this will bring up the on-screen keyboard next is charm ap and hit the enter key so this will bring up the character map on the computer so if you want to use any kind of character while writing something like any kind of email blog or you are chatting with someone or anywhere if you want to use a special character you can just bring up this box here by a simple command that was charm ap and use any kind of character listed over here next is ms config if you type ms config and click on ok so this will bring up the system configuration very useful tool so from here you can manage the startup of your computer you can go to the boot section if you want to boot your computer in the safe mode safe mode with networking then you can do that you can even manage the services you can disable them you can manage the startup then you have other tools that you can use from here only all right and now last run command is ms info 32 and if you click on ok this will bring up the system configuration giving you all kind of detail about your computer like which operating system you are using what is the bios version what is the processor what is your physical memory about your virtualization page file not only this from the left hand side you can even view the hardware resources component and the software environment so that's all guys for today and hopefully all these 26 command will be surely helping you to become pro on your windows pc and laptop to quickly access a many useful application with simple command and if you like the video guys please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye